Hi, Jacqueline. How are Hi, you? I'm great. How are you? Good. Congratulations on your brilliant performance in this film. Thank you. I find you bring so much empathy to your roles, but especially to this one. Thanks. So tell me about how you like went about playing Anne. Oh, boy. Um, I worked with, she's, she's a therapist. She went to Harvard when I first got the script. And I think dealing with trauma, where trauma lies in the body, fight and flight, um, where that was for Anne in the film, um, to make her, I don't come from a hugely traumatic um, upbringing, so I really wanted to make that come alive. So I wanted to feel like you felt that about her without her having to tell you about it, um, that this life that was of her past is with her all of the time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I know Daniel in the past, your director, he said that when he first saw your tape, your audition tape, he knew you were the one. Mm. And that you met on Zoom afterwards and you had a long conversation. You had a lot of questions about the character. Yeah. I'm curious what those questions were. And then oh my gosh. you spoke about it. I don't, I had a lot of questions, I think, that could only necessarily be answered by playing her. I think that she has a lot of questions and it's through the evolution of the script, it's through going through the scenes that those questions get answered. Um, but that process was crazy because I auditioned like a year and a half earlier and didn't hear forever. And then I had, I got a call and they're like, oh yeah, you're up for this film. And I was like, what <laughs> film? <laughs> What are you talking about? And they're like, and I had previously like written a whole letter. Like I just fell in love with Anne almost immediately. That when they like were like the director would like to speak to you. It was um, sometimes you feel like there's an essence that matches the character that's on the page. And I just I don't know. I, she has a calling. Maybe I have a calling to play Anne. I, I don't know. <gasps> and I love your scene work with Posey, who plays Natalie. I There's just such a <laughs> connection between your yeah. characters and an emotional depth to the scene work, too. Mm -hmm. So tell me about working with her. It's really nice. Daniel had us, because um, it was COVID when we were shooting, so I met Posey over Zoom. But we did these, like, play dates, I guess you would say, where we like played games and would meet like if once a week and just get to know each other. Um, but when we first got to Bulgaria, we were all in quarantine, but her apartment was like up here and I was down here. So we actually met like R Romeo and Juliet style from the balcony, but she would send me notes. She would like send me notes through a paper airplane onto my balcony and then I would send them up. And it was just like a very organic um, relationship that was created. And, I think when you're dealing with such heavy material, um, I would come home every day after set and I would go for tea with her and her mom and it was just an amazing way to like decompress and take myself out of like the heavy material that I was dealing with all day. Um, so she was a little bit of a light for me shooting this movie. Aww, so tell me about some of your favorite memories from filming. Um, well, those would be some of them. Uh, oh gosh, there's, there's a scene where we're all just like having a drink outside mm -hmm. after, you know, it's yeah. pretty intense exorcism <laughs> that happens. And Nicholas, uh, Ralph, um, he's just such a charming individual. And it was just like, it felt like a breath out of the, like to take a break from all of the heavy stuff that we were shooting. I loved that. Um, shooting uh, the special effects, like crawling and like getting lifted and getting dunked into a, a pool of apple juice was also pretty fun. Um, but yeah, we just got lucky. The director's fantastic. The cast is amazing. Yeah. We had a blast. I'm curious, do you believe in supernatural forces? I have experienced some ghostly type things that I would say I can't, I can't, I don't know, I don't have, I, yeah, yes. Interesting. Yeah. Okay, yeah. story for another day. A story for another day. Sure, I can tell you now if you want, I just don't know how long, okay. Yes. I was at, I was in Collingwood, so I'm, I'm from here, I grew up yeah. in Mississauga. We were in Collingwood and, um, 
we got locked out of the house and I went to go in and when I opened the door, there was a chair behind it, but I just closed it. And I was like, that's bizarre. And then I was on the chairlift the next week skiing and I was like, yeah, we're staying at Brooklyn Farm. And they're like, you know that there's supposed to be ghosts there. And I was like, no way. And they're like, yeah. And they like move furniture. And I was like, are you, are you kidding me? And that's like, that's when I was like, Whoa. <laughs> never believed in ghosts until this very moment. Yeah. Oh my God. Was that before or after you filmed this movie? It was before. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's interesting though, because I don't have the same relationship with, say, like the Catholic faith. Mm -hmm. When I spoke to my friend who was, she's like, I couldn't shoot that movie because I would feel like I was summoning things constantly. And to hear that almost made it realer for me mm -hmm. to be like, oh, I have to I have to make sure that that comes alive here. I have to be able to create that fear in myself, you know, yeah, yeah. for that, that threat to be that real. So were you into horror movies before this? I, uh, I love like Rosemary's Baby. Mm -hmm. It, um, I also love Mia Hocus Pocus. <laughs> it doesn't. Yeah, so like I, I would say I'm a fan of the genre. Midsummer's incredible. It's. I'm a fan of, I would say, great movies. So, you know, they, they exist across across them all. And what have you been watching lately that you've been really into? Um, I've been watching The Staircase, the series, unbelievable. I actually haven't seen Hocus Pocus 2 yet, and I am waiting. Um, I also have to see Pearl, X was amazing. Um, yeah, that's been it. Well, thank you so much for the art that you bring into the world. I really appreciate oh, it. Oh, so sweet. Thank, thank you. you. All right, nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you.